Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here. And today I want to talk to you about a new um, knife that I got in. And that is the Kershaw Agile. Now that was a pitiful opening. There we go. Yes, of course, this has the speed safe on it. But I, I'm gonna just tell you, first of all, I bought this knife primarily because I like the way it looks. I really, really like the way it looks, but it also screams Rick Hinderer. This really screams Hinderer knives, and um, you'll, you'll see that as I go through the knife. Now, first off, I want to let you know that yes, this is a small knife. I was actually a little surprised at how small it is compared to all the YouTube videos I've seen of it, but in my medium, I wear medium slash large gloves depending on how they fit but this for me is a three-fingered knife this is not all four fingers i mean i can scrimp them on there but it's not comfortable but holy cow this is about the size of the regular kershaw um cryo if if i had to compare it but the reason why i bought this knife was because i really liked the way it looked it screams rick hinderer all over the place first off i hate this billboarding I hate it, hate it, hate it. I wish they would have gotten all of this off of here. But as you can see, it says Hinderer Design. There's our blade steel. There's where it's made. There's our model number made by Kai and patented. All there on that side. Ugh, it's horrible. This is a stainless steel frame lock, which is very surprising for a price um, so cheap. And it's built very well. The thing that I love about it is it has a hinderer styled pocket clip. It has your lock bar stop or um, over travel stop. And then it also has these very um, hinderer esque fillers for where you can put the pocket clip. You have tip up right hand carry, tip down right hand carry, and then you have tip down left hand carry. Sorry lefties, you really get the bad end of the stick on this one. But this knife, excuse me, um, this knife here really, really is built really well. And one of the things that I really like about it that Kershaw has finally done 50% of the way is they have actually put a bronze washer in here. Now, I don't know if you can see it, don't know if you can see that but we have a bronze washer and that is on the spring assisted side so I'm actually gonna plan on taking this thing apart and putting a regular washer over there now I don't know if that will go well but uh, we will see I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on it but this is the other thing that I really liked about it is it does use um, Rick Hinderer's modular backspacer design. And this means I can take this backspacer out and put in the other two backspacers they include with the knife, which is a flathead screwdriver, which is essentially this, but made out of stainless steel, and then a bottle opener. I'm probably gonna use the screwdriver side since I'm gonna be using this as kind of a handyman knife um, since it's so compact and um, tiny. So it's not going to be a real heavy worker's knife, but it's going to be something I'm going to be using in the house. And more than likely, I'm going to have to tighten up a few screws in the house, then open a bottle of beer. Um, <clears throat> if I'm working, of course, if I'm not, of course, I'll have a beer. We also have the flipper tab, which I'll say this, um, Kershaw's um, speed safe can be hit or miss, but like on this Kershaw leak, this thing opens up a lot quicker than this one. And I don't know if that's because of the, well, it opened just fine then, but I mean, it it felt a little weak when I got it. Now, for me personally, um, I just kind of noticed something. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what this does. So I have no idea, I don't know. Um, so the, it feels a little weak on the spring, but Compared to the leak, this one opens up a lot quicker. That may be because the blade is thinner on this. I mean, we've got a pretty thick blade on this tiny little knife, which is going to lend itself to be very durable. But since I've got two knives out here, let's do a size comparison. So there is the Agile, here is the leak. 
and let me what what else do i have well we'll do another uh rick hinderer design here right mm -hmm. on top of this the viper knives storm which uses the same system the modular backspacer system he has some name for it um, you can take this out and you can put in a glass breaker which is about like that much longer it's ridiculous um, but I'll take the leak out of here, but th this is what I really like about this knife. It looks Rick Hinderer. It, I mean, the cryo kind of looks like a Rick Hinderer design, but holy cow, this little knife looks like a Rick Hinderer design. That's why I bought it. You can see it. You have these very Rick Hinderer-esque construction um, spots all over the knife. And the thing that I notice is this pocket clip has more tension than this pocket clip. And this one is made out of titanium. I want to say they're about the same thickness. I, I don't know, but th this one just feels more secure in the pocket. The thing that I don't like about the knife. Um, oh, well, while I have this one out, let me uh, show you the other thing that really impressed me is the stop bar is in the blade on the Kershaw, just like the Viper knife. I mean, th that's carrying over a design well. Um, but let's talk about what I don't like about this knife. Um, the the speed safe isn't as strong as I'd like it to be, and I wish this was on ball bearings, and I wish it was a full three and a half inch knife. I really wish this was a full three inch blade um, affair, which would have, man, that would have been perfect. I don't care about the blade steel. I'm not really a snob on that front, but I do not like how big the cutout here is for the, the, the lock bar. I mean, holy cow, you can see all of the milling, everything. I mean, it really is open. I don't know if that had to be that way because of manufacturing, but man, I just don't like that, especially since you can see all the wording in there. It just, it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. It, it just doesn't work for me. But that there are the only few things that I don't like about the knife. The thing that I really love about this knife is that it actually has some weight to it. I mean, it's a stainless steel frame lock. It's going to have some weight, but you know, it, 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 you, you know, it's in your hand, but it's not unwieldy. And I really like that. It, it really is a comfortable little knife in hand. So I, I just really, really enjoy having this knife. It was only about 30 bucks. And I think that's a great deal on a very effective hinderer designed knife offering some higher end, um, I guess, complications. I mean, it, it has a few extra things you can put on the knife. And I think that really offers a lot to the user. The other thing is, is this blade is gonna be very easy to sharpen since it's just practically a sheep's foot, modified sheep's foot blade. It's gonna be easy to sharpen on any stone because you just have to do a very easy stroke. It's not going to be difficult to sharpen. And especially since it's HCR 13 MOV, it's gonna be easy to strop up wherever you are. So. That's it. I mean, I I'm just got this out of the mail, and so far I've I've been carrying it uh, for about three hours, and I really enjoy using it, really enjoy having it, and I'm happy to have a a well executed hinderer design in my collection yet again. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. I'm sorry this was so scattered, but. I mean, I'm basically doing a kind of a first impressions on this, but I really do like the knife. It's a very unique design, a little different than your standard Hinderer Kershaw. So thank you guys again for checking out my channel and um, checking out this video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. And if you have one of these, let me know. I'd like to see what you've thought about it while you've been using it. And um, till then, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.